from Sew so Society bringing you Knit Tips 8 which is the last episode of this series. So let's get going. I pinned up the, the sleeves on, on the hem for the sleeves and the easiest way to do that is just with four pins and with your measuring gauge I tried the blouse on and then I, I marked a, the spot where I wanted to have the length finish. So then I, I worked it out that I needed a two centimeter or three quarter of an inch hem. So just using four pins, um, I put one at the underarm, one at the opposite side and then one at each of the quarter marks with the heads of the pin um, at where the uh, stitched edge is going to be and having it that way so that you can easily just pull them out as you're coming around there with the sewing machine. So I'll put this on now and show you with your put over the free arm like that and I'm going to be lining up the raw edge of the fabric with the inside of this foot here. You can see that I've got a black foot on this time. Uh, this is a, a Teflon foot. Okay, so just going to line up this cut edge of the fabric with the inside, the inside of that foot, of that toe, holding on to the threads. I'm just going to do a, a normal straight stitch all the way around uh, on my machine. It's 2.5 in length. And we're going to also build in the ease to the stitching so that when uh, later on when you're wearing the garment and you do... Um, stretch the garment for any reason if you won't, you won't pop your stitches. So just holding the front and the back just a little bit, tiny bit of give like we've been doing before. What I have done just with this one way. is started off on the two side seams and put in a pin both sides. Uh, I've taken them out because I've actually already hemmed half of this blouse so that I don't spend too much time on the machine while I'm talking to you. So a, a pin on either of the side seams, one in the, the centre front and one at the centre back and then at the halfway marks between those points. You can add another couple of pins, uh, pins if you wish but um, the less the better. Just so that you can um, make sure that you, you keep your hem the, the correct width all the way around. And again, this time, I'm going to be matching up the raw edge with the inside of that toe on that foot. If you wanted to check that you have got your hem the correct width, just grab your, your um, measuring gauge and have it set um, on uh, you know, the, the width of, of your turn up. In this case, it's two centimetres, so I'll just adjust that. And you can see that's the two centimetres there. And going around so you can keep that in your hand if you wish and just just keep checking get to the pin take that out you do need to make sure that you build a little bit of ease into this this stitching because this is the one that will pop if, if any of them are going to pop because around your tummy area there when you sit down will be putting some stress on, on this stitching. Right, done. Now, if you wanted to have the twin stitching, some people like to use uh, twin needles. Um, I don't worry about that. I just do it another hour around myself, just using the foot as a guide. So I've just moved it across and I've got the stitching line now. Um, matching up with the inside of that toe again and if you want, just try doing a few stitches, if you want to have the seam a little bit wider just move your needle position over to the right hand side um, but I'm just going to leave mine there in the middle and we'll see what happens It's probably a bit, bit more um, narrow for what we're wanting, but 
just for this demonstration today I'll just leave it otherwise I would move it over onto the right hand side and you can see the the two rows of stitching there coming together quite nicely just continue around right around the, the hem of the garment now if you um, your hem is going to be wider. I'll just show you there the, the two rows of the twin needle effect. If when you're wanting to do your hem and your hem is actually say maybe um, two and a half centimeters or an inch or even longer, don't go tr um, trimming it off. Just turn it up uh, and with your measuring gauge, say, say it's a... Um, uh, a two inch hem, turn it up that two inches, put the pin in as we've just done, but then when you stitch it, just stitch it with the amount of hem that you want to have showing on the outside of your garment. And on my machine here, I've got a line that says 10 and 15 and 20 centimeters because this is a Swiss machine. So uh, I generally use either a 10 or a 15. And then just like when we were doing the Chanel trim, you would come back with your little scissors and then trim away that excess fabric below the stitching line. Right, now the other one that I want to show you was the lettuce effect on the bottom of a hem. I've done a little sample here and you can see that it's got a nice little crinkly edge. And to do that, I tried a, a small or a narrow zigzag on this one down here. And this end of this one here, it was a little bit wider. And then it was fairly wide on about a three width on, on that one there. So it's your preference as to which one that you use. Uh, but I'll just show you um, how, how you do it. Okay, so what we're going to do... Is when the zigzag... Is working one side of the the right hand side of the of the needle is going to be right on the edge of your foot now oh, so right on the edge of the fabric now you need to have it on the smallest length that you possibly can so I've got this on about a quarter and and zigzag the oh, about say I've got that on say a two and then just to start it off there like that, you're going to be actually stretching this as much as you possibly can. You're going to pull, 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 pull. Um, just be careful though with some knits, when you pull across the, the, the stretch like that, the fabric could what we call ladder. And that's generally on the real silky, nylon-y type um, knits that come come apart really easily, but this one here is, is standing up to um, Whatever treatment I'm giving it so I'll just show you now I do need to pull it through the back of the machine to help it along because it's doing a lot of stitching on one on top of the other I'm Stretching it as hard as I can Hard, hard, hard Making sure that the needle goes off the fabric or as close to the edge as you, as you possibly can and it's really doing close close zigzags and basically what you're doing to get that lettuce effect is you're over stitching the material and that's just causing causing it to wave so that's another option for a hem and depending on how much you you want to um, have it let us, let us look as to how much, how close you have the, the zigzag and how much you actually pull it. It's personal preference. Now the third way of doing a hem is if you uh, want to have a narrow hem on maybe the end of a sleeve on a, uh, a light, lightweight fabric. Um, with knits. If you just try and turn up the tiniest, tiniest little amount of fabric like that and try and sew that, yes, you will sew it, but when you put it on, you'll find that this little hem will kick out. 
when you're wearing it on your sleeve or whatever, it'll kick out. So to stop that from happening, I've already done one row of stitching, as you can see, in the navy thread, so that you can see. Um, I just did that as a centimetre wide, which is the, the marking on my the foot of my, on my, my plate here. I'll just do a little bit more, show you. A centimetre is three-eighths of an inch. Now I'm going to take this back to a longer stitch, about, about a three, because you're going to be pulling that, that row of stitching out. And maybe we'll just go a bit more, three and a, three and a bit. Okay, that'll do, because all that is is your turning line. So after you've been around your whole hem and you've got this row of stitching there to show you where you turn it, turn your stitch length back to normal and then you'll find it's very easy just to put this back on, turning it on that, that line that you've just stitched and your choice, you can have the folded edge level with the outside edge of your foot or on the inside of that toe there, whatever you like. Okay. I've lined mine up with the outside, so that's a fairly wide one. I'll change it over to the narrow one in a minute to show you. Okay, so that's the wider width. Now I'll take, just raise the needle and pull it over and do the stitching with the folded edge lined up with the inside of that toe now. And then off we go again. I haven't cut the ends of that thread there. And you see just how easy it is um, to turn it on that stitching line. Okay, that's enough. Okay, so this time you can see that's the width of the first lot that I did and then that's the width of the second lot. And then when you're happy with your, your stitching, just go back then and you can pull this thread out. It's quite easy to pull out because it um, was done on a long length. Well, that's all I think I can show you at this stage. Um, and this is the final of this edition or this series of knit tips. Um, I hope you have enjoyed what I've shown you. Uh, there are very many different ways that you can do, you can um, stitch uh, knit fabrics, but this is what I was taught and this is what I've been doing for the last 30 years. But anyway, um, yes, enjoy, and um, I hope this gives you the confidence to go ahead and, and try knit fabrics if you've been a little bit scared of them previously and happy sewing.